When it comes to machining, the tool must work with certain parameters. Depending on the parameters chosen, we can get different surface finish. By choosing the wrong parameters, you can destroy both the tool and the workpiece. How do we know what parameters to use? At the beginning, it is the best to read this information from the manufacturer's catalog of the tool. We choose the appropriate parameters depending on the material being machined. Mainly, we have to choose the right spindle speed and feed rate. Spindle rotation is a parameter in the G-code with the letter S. It defines the number of rotations made by spindle in one minute. The feed is parameter with the letter F. It determines the path that the tool will overcome in one minute millimeter per minute or inches per minute. In the Fusion 360 we can define these parameters in several different ways, depending on the data given in the catalog. When it comes to spindle rotation, we set them in the speed section in the feed and speed tab. If we have the number of rotations in catalog, we can use the spindle speed field. If we have the cutting speed, then we use the field surface speed. Both values depend on each other and when we complete one field, the value in the second field will be converted. In the ramp spindle speed field, we can specify the number of rotation during z-axis ramping, for example, entering material at the angle or meaning holes on the helix. If we wanted to reduce the cutting speed for this type of operation, we can use this field. We can type here smaller value and this can be useful for several operations with one tool. Where the tool will ramping in z-axis, it will use a lower cutting speed and in other places will use its full capabilities. OK. The next important parameter defining our machining is the feed value expressed in millimeters per minute. In the tool manufacturer's catalogs, we can often find the feed value presented as feed per tooth. But Fusion 360 can handle the conversion of feed values to millimeters per minute. You can type here value presented in feed per tooth or presented in millimeters per minute. OK. Next section is vertical feed rates. And this section specifies the feed value for the tool's operation during vertical plunging. Lead-in feed rate and lead-out feed rate are the feed values for the tool entry into material and for tool Retract. Ramp feed rate is fit when working at an angle, for example ramping or helical milling. At first glance, selection of parameters is quite simple because the parameters are given in the catalog. But we must remember that the tool manufacturers often give the ranges of parameters that we can use to machine the specific material. Experience and time spent on the CNC machine will be important here. Observing the work of the tool with specific parameters or changing them manually during machining, we can assess visually and by hearing whether the parameters are appropriate or whether it is still worth to turn up or reduce them. So, the cutting speed set to 150 mm per minute and feed rate set half a millimeter per tooth. OK. The next tab is Post Processor. Here we can set the tool number or command for tool. We can also set here length offset and diameter offset, but for now set the default values and we discuss it later. So click OK to save our tool. OK, our tool is defined.